Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jen and this is Farabee. Today we're gonna do a gear storage tour as well as a gear haul for you. If you've already watched our other gear haul, it goes a lot more in depth, but this is just to kind of get you an update on what we have as well as how we store everything. I'm gonna show you guys where I store Farabee's gear really quickly. So it's actually just in my closet and it's in, I don't know if this is called a sweater hanging shelf i don't know what it's called but basically it's just a really soft shelf and it hangs up from your um whatever from your closet racks so up at the top i have her shirts and her little sweaters in this section this is where i keep her extra patches which i'll show you how i store these shortly um they're just laying right here right now and extra leash wrap so in this section this is where i have her soft vests like the ones we use for summer they're just in a little bucket in here in her socks and then we have some extra stickers of hers this next section down is where i keep her one tigress vest and i just kind of lay them on top of each other and underneath that is the purple amazon vest that we used to use all the time and then at the very bottom this is where i keep some of her shoes the ones that are in boxes still this is just empty honestly i don't even know why it's there so since we're already up in the closet i figured i would just do the gear tour while we're up here instead of taking everything down so we have two one tigress vest so we have the short one in black and then we have the long one in the coyote brown um i'll quickly go over the patches which i've shown these before but i'll quickly go over them really quickly so this came in a set of two from amazon this is from an etsy maker super cute this is from amazon this is from uh, northern safari on amazon and they do custom color patches so that's cool this one just says not all those who wonder are lost and it's from amazon and that's on the large vest and this is the short vest and these are actually all from a patch set so it's just a patch that i got off of amazon and it came with one more as well which i'll show you shortly but i'll link these patch sets for you guys um they come in teal i think we have them in teal red and pink i believe so it's just these there's they're not anything special so i'm not gonna like go over them it's like a 15 dollar patch set <laughs> it's like the basic like everybody has it um this is the first vest we had it's just the dog line vest that like most people start with from amazon i think it was like 11 dollars. so we still have it honestly we haven't had to use this in a while um and then i'm gonna go over the other vest really quick so all of the vests i'm about to show you are things i've made and they're all the same pattern and i have a tutorial for this so i'll link it below for you guys and so i have a little yellow one and the patches on it this is from northern safari this is the same maker as the other one from etsy and i can't remember her name but i'll i think it's like clever calm or something possibly creative calm maybe so i'll link her for you um but these are actually printed they're not embroidered so they're actually printed on there so that's pretty cool um we have this vest we have this vest and the pink one i usually just take her pink patches off of her black vest whenever it's like weather appropriate um, she uses her one tigress vest whenever it's cold so since we're in winter time she doesn't use these these are like summer vest we have a red white and blue vest and i usually put gray patches on this so they just come off of her other stuff this is her like thanksgiving kind of fall vest and these patches are from northern safari i am be honest i didn't know they were that bright when i ordered them <laughs> um i was thinking they were going to be a little lighter so if you order them just be aware they're like hunter fluorescent orange it just says orange so i didn't know but they're still really cool and i'm still fine with it but yeah so the print on this is super cute though This is like my favorite print of a vest that she has, these little birds. It's purple, but I messed up. This is one of the first ones I sewed and I messed up right there. So that kind of sucks. You can't tell as long as she has a lot of hair, but if like she shaved down, like freshly shaved, then you can totally tell. Sorry, I have the camera backwards today. Anyway, and this is the first one that I made. I don't love this one. Um, because it has a pocket on one side and it doesn't on the other so it's not balanced 
so it wants to tip to the pocket side so that kind of sucks but this patch is really cool and this is from patience and love um, and I'm sure you're familiar with patience and love I'll link her shop below for you if you're not familiar all right and then we're gonna get to the other patches really quick and leash wraps so this is a leash wrap also from patience and love we don't use this one a lot this is one whenever she's wearing this lighter summer vest i'll usually put it on her front strap um just honestly because i think it's a little smart alec thing <laughs> um so i don't necessarily put it on her all the time i think it's fun to have but it's just kind of kind of a little bit rude snarky to me so i don't use it all the time just if i'm feeling that kind of way and then as far as her extra patches. So what I do with those, I do not recommend what I'm gonna show you. This is not the best idea, but I'm still gonna show you because you guys asked. So what I did was I took frames that uh, the glass was damaged and I just put cardboard and I wrapped it in a microfiber towel so the patches would stick. In theory, this was great. But what happens is whenever you actually pull the, um, the patches off it like loosens it from the background like it loosens the the little towel like it pulls it too hard so it, it doesn't stay so it's a pain so I don't recommend this um, but that's what I've done and right here this was a training patch that she had when she was in training it just says in training please give us room to grow um, these are the two little um, wallet things I don't know what they're really called but they're the clear that you can put stuff in little wallet things that come on the Lone Tigress vest. We don't use those. Um, I've never used the black one. I have an ADA card in this one because we had it on there, but we don't now. Okay, so the other patches that we have are just on the same type of board. Um, so I have the medical alert one, which this actually came on that little purple vest, so we don't really use it. Um, I have this PTSD, service dog, do not distract. I don't use that one. I used to use it and then I had someone come up and be like, I have PTSD too. And it was just awkward. So I kind of don't put what my medical condition is on my dog's vest anymore because it was just kind of, I wasn't sure how to handle that. So after I realized that was a thing, I'm kind of like, you know, I don't really know that I want to advertise what's going on. I mean, obviously I do here, but that's different anyway um the little one tigress one that comes on it and you can see what i'm talking about where it peels off like if you pull a uh, patch off like it'll just peel it out of here so it kind of sucks and then this one's actually not even stuck down um oh i have another one of those do not separate dog from handler and then this one is the other one that came with that pink set but because i don't think um, I don't use this because this is basically if you like are passed out or something, you know, don't kind of on one. If I'm passed out, <laughs> you know, probably a good idea to worry about me. And then I have a Rex Specs patch, which I got her this for Christmas. Like I actually purposefully purchased this separate and then I just haven't put it on anything. I planned on putting it on her brown one tiger's vest, but then it just kind of looked out of place and it kind of looked like I was like, advertising I don't know it didn't look professional to me so I think what I might do is actually sew some velcro onto her um, her denim jacket and put it on there just because I think it'd be cute for her to have you know she wears her sunglasses so I think it'd be cute on that but I think that's all the patches we have really um, I will show you guys her other two leash wraps in a minute they're downstairs because that's where we use them because they're on her leash leashes so we have a tiny bit of gear pieces left and I'll, I'm just gonna set this right here and show you, which you guys, if you've watched our channel for very long at all, you've seen this, but this is just her Sleepy Pods harness and we use this, you know, anytime we get in the car. We have a rough wear, not a long leash, and then we have this Patience and Love leash wrap, which I love this leash wrap. I think it's the point across. This is what we use 99% of the time whenever we're gone. I just like this one. I. I feel like it's, you know, it gets the point across. It's not rude or anything. It just gets the point across and I like it. And so I just leave it on this leash because this is always, that's always the leash we use whenever we're gone. This video is accidentally fair be free. All right, so this is the other leash wrap we had. Um, it's also a patience and love leash wrap, just working service dog, do not approach. Super simple. This is the one we use whenever we go for walks and stuff, um, you know. It just stays on her walking leash all the time. 
pretty sure you guys know about this, but we use Rex Specs, so she has two pair of Rex Specs. And then some of her boots stay on here. So this is where we store the stuff that's downstairs. So I keep her leashes in here. Um, we have a flexi for whenever we're at home and she goes out in the yard because we don't have a fence. Uh, I have a fanny pack because, you know, why not? This is her, like I showed you a minute ago, but that's in there. I always keep a big thing of poop bags, her Rex Specs boxes, and then a thing of baby wipes. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite patch maker is, maybe. Let me know if you have a one tiger's vest. Um, and also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but if you're interested in making any of the little vests like I make with little little sewn ones. I will link that tutorial for you below. It actually is just a free tutorial that I made. I kind of walk you through step by step how to make it, what you need, all that stuff. So check it out if you need it and we will see you soon. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.